and we are and there will be consequences if they think that they can rig the elections and have the kind of peace that we have now they're wrong very very wrong i hope they're not thinking that in their calculation i'm making it clear about that and it's not coded language it means i said it the nature of the struggle changes viewers and subscribers welcome to guyanese news where we discuss news about guyana today we are going to address how timo omid finally respond to badman roger Khan threats that was sent online you need to hear how timo omid take this thing to another level then we are going to play a video with the vice president of guyana mr barat jack view getting exposed by a millionaire in america all of the money that is missing you need to hear this exposure before we start if you're new to this youtube channel and you want more breaking trending guyanese content smash the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up after roger can send a direct message to timo omid years after his best friend paper sharks was on a life in front of palm court who was cut down brutally with a hail of gunshot timo omid is finally responding within 24 hours to roger khan message if you did not see the video with the message that roger khan sent the message is that roger khan is demanding justice for his best friend there was no justice for paper shots on a live in and if you check through the comments the comments is keeping it real one of the comments that is getting the most like is that why the people in demand justice from roger khan but that is another story we are addressing the message that timo omid sent to roger khan this message is that you are next we don't know if it's a direct message to roger khan but this message is not posted on his official team or omit page we all know there is some born account so right now if you go on facebook you are going to see this going wrong viral you are next we don't know what that means but that is the message that's going around viral in Guyana social media platform and Guyanese news is going to share it we all know there is a big fallout with Timo Omid and Roger Khan we don't know what is the reason according to what they're saying there is a huge power struggle in the underground who control things and right now this beef gone online with each other both party Timo Omid and Roger Khan faction sending out these messages and these messages going as threat and we know now who is them people they say top rollers in the country if Roger Khan and Timo Omid start to go against one another big ones is going to get involved the reason why Gaini is saying that big one is going to get involved during roger khan era according to the rumors that used to circulate in guyana is that roger khan was being so much money of being top of the world in guyana he used to pay enough of the public servant salary that was a well-known fact in guyana roger khan used to pay all the money because of his business that he used to do the same business that got him 15 years jail in america and after roger can gone to jail some other top person start to pay in this money and start to gain the power in the country and the rumors and the circulation of news around the country is that timo omid is paying and he is the one that is controlling the country according to guyanese critics and some comments them in the section is saying that Timo Omid, Roger Khan, and Guyanese critics should go live on Guyanese critics show and talk it over as big man so they could be friends again. 
we all know Guyanese critics is in the middle of this whole situation with Timo Omid and Paper Shots because of the revelation that he made on his newscast that Timo Omid involved in the unaliving of Paper Shots. That is why Roger Khan sent out his threats. We don't know if this is an official account belonging to Roger Khan. But the message is that he is going to get justice for his best friend. And we know who he wants justice from. We don't know. We're just suggesting this is Guyanese news where we deliver unbiased news. And Timo Omid, this message is floating around Guyanese social media as they respond to Roger Khan. You are next. It is not on Timo Omid official YouTube or Facebook account, but it is going viral on Guyanese social media and people saying this is a born account. So right now things is eating up with Roger Khan, Timo Omid and big one is going to get involved. Remember this is Guyanese news where we deliver real Guyanese content. If you want more Guyanese content, please smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and I'm telling you, leave a comment in the comment section what you really think going on with Timo Omid and Roger Khan. Check out this video now with this millionaire exposing the vice president of Guyana and why Guyanese is not developing to the full potential is because of corruption and the profit that the country is making, the leaders them is sniffing it off and giving to their friends and family, which is supposed to be for every guy in this. Just check out this video, then we are going to continue. This is so unfair. It is not fair. It is not fair. Nobody here wanna like nobody for no like that. This is wickedness. I know it will end up there because everything everything is racism for you for some people. Everything is about racism, not about ordinary people getting an opportunity to earn a land, but you want to covet ten thousand acres. What? What? Yes, mommy, get it. Let me show Lisa. I got it. Hey, don't run away. I got it in the dance. Come on, put it on the camera. Let us. Yeah, mommy, hurry up and bring it. Come, we gonna walk up and reach it. This is so unfair. My 23 year old son ready to start life. Apply. Can't get a piece of land. Sound like they got sound like if we mad, but we ain't mad. I start seven years old. And I don't have a land. I don't have a land. My son doesn't have any land, Mr. Kwame. My son doesn't have any land. He's 23. 
and he's starting life now. He did. And Lance gave him a letter and said they don't have any land available. That's what they said. I can bring it to you, Mr. Kwame. Do you want me to visit your office? I'm a teacher. I'm an intelligent person. I had to change the video at the end for some technical difficulties. So I had to read it with this squatting eviction that is going on. That is Kwame Makai, the real bad man in Guyana politics. What you think about Timo, Omid and Roger Khan? Remember, leave a comment. This is Guyanese News. Subscribe LBC YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more breaking, trending Guyanese news from a different angle, Subscribe.